There she finally is, the iPhone 6. It's really big, yo. It's like the Samsung S music player. Let's take a look at it. Looks really good. Although they said that, you know, these phones, they bend really easy in your pocket. This is the first time I have an iPhone 6 in my hand. I know I'm a little bit late, but then again, poor man, huh? Well, it's uh, no much difference as the, yeah, well, in fact, the iOS is the same. If we take the iPhone 4 and we put it beside it, this is about the size bigger that it got as you can see here and the price 900 euros so in fact we do have the same iOS in fact it all looks the same Here you can see it. It did get really thin. I think that's why it's like bending in, in your pocket. I think you should not put this in your pocket. You should just like yeah. get some holder for it. I think it's way too big, yo. I'm really happy with my iPhone 4S, and I'm not planning to, you know, to get the updated 6. I think it's way too big, you know. Kijk eens deze. This the 5S. This is the And you have also in the klein. Yeah, this is the plus. Yeah, this is the plus. This is the plus. By the way, this is the 5S. I also wanted this machine real bad because of the front cam. This thing has a real good front cam. If you check the front cam, it's a HD front cam. There you go. And if we turn the screen, you see this is like a HD, HD camera. It will film in 720p. So that's why I wanted the iPhone 5, but I decided after buying the BlackBerry Playbook, really cheap, you know, that has a selfie cam filming in 1080p, I decided that, you know, I would go another year with my iPhone 4, 4S. I'm really happy with the performance of the 4S. iOS 8 runs pretty good on it, so the lack of a HD cam in front is not such a big problem to me. And of course, <coughs> the 4S, 16 gigabyte. We just took a look at the 32 gigabyte. This is, by the way, the iPod Nano 7th generation. And uh, also a very nice device. It costs 159. And uh, yeah, well, as you can see, it's fully touch screen. Really cool. But then again, I love the 6th generation more because the 6th generation, you can wear it as a watch. And in fact, uh, to me, that was the first Apple iWatch that I uh, got. Uh, I still have it. I'm not wearing it a lot because the first one, I lost it one night when I was DJing at some discotheque. And since then, I was scared to wear it, even though I have a better rest uh, now. So. The 5G looks almost like the 4S. It's really thin, really thin, also in nice ladies color. I think this is a ladies, uh, yeah. And making phone calls with this is of course not possible, but with programs as Skype or mobile VoIP, you will be able to, you know, easily 
place phone calls with this thing because also the processor is strong enough to run any FOIP program. This is the iPod Touch, it's the 5G, also a very nice device with uh, yeah, the same screen as, um, as the iPhone 5, but then again it's much thinner because of the lack of a telephone inside. But let's take a look at let's take a look at the specifications. Well, we won't really see too much about that. But here we can see that it's um, 27.3 gigabyte capacity, 18 gigabytes available, running version 8. So I think it will be updated. So that's also very beautiful. And I'm looking for the for the 4S but I don't see it anymore I see the iPod touch here this is the 32 gigabytes and in fact it's the same it just has another color as you can see I think this is for guys and this is like for females well and then we have the iPod touch 32 gigabyte gray in fact, the same as this one, only another color. Well, I will not remove it, I'm just going to leave it there. And I think this is really, really nice. This is the iPod Nano, 16 gigabytes silver. And <laughs> it looks like a real small iPhone. You see that? And I'm wondering, does this thing have Wi-Fi? It has Bluetooth, it has no Wi-Fi. See that? So, in fact, you can connect via Bluetooth and use this thing uh, to play music over your headphone or whatever, you know. I don't really um, have this. I have the smaller one that I can wear as a watch, also with touchscreen. Really beautiful, amazing device. So, that's about it, yo. I don't see the iPhone 4S anymore. I think it's not for sale anymore. We're going to check some other devices for darling the channel 48. Also we're going to take a look at some digital device, uh, digital watches. And I'm standing here at the uh, Saturn and I'm standing in front of many watches. And here you can see, uh, this is the live track core, the C220 black line, 69 euros. But I don't think that we're looking for a thing like this. I think we want to go for some Android device. Let me put this one back. I really don't know what these things are, but this is a, a Fitbit Flex Black, whatever it is and what it means. I'm trying to put it, but it's not standing. And I think if you get some message, then the phone will start blinking or so. But these things are not really cheap, as you can see starting at 69 euros and we can also look a little further I'm trying to find some Android advanced watch this is the Garmin see that look really nice and uh, the Polar featuring VT black blister only for 59 euros and I really don't know how these things work man I should ask one of the salesmen to you know and here we're back this is Garmin this is a very advanced watch I really don't know what it all can do but I can tell you it's advanced as you can see the price is also not like for everybody this is for uh, people that do runnings this is the 4Runner 620 with uh, Bluetooth I think here it is I think you can read it 349 euros and yeah what is it I, I really don't know what it is this thing looks like I don't understand so we must find out how these things work and what the purpose is of it and what you can do with it so here we look a little further and here we see the TomTom Tom Nike sports watch and these are all watches that communicates with your 
you know, with your phone. So if you get like a message, you will look on your phone or on your wrist and just, you know, whatever. Answer the SMS or whatever you have to do. There are many colors, Fitbits from LG. These are for the LG phones, I think. And what they really are, I don't know. I think that if, I think they vibrate and, you know, they will give a light. So you will see that uh, you just got a message. This is for very fancy, fancy people with, uh, yeah, that love to um, have the right message at the right time. Book Darlington Review. I'm in the Saturn. And it's really beautiful here. We have all these beautiful stuff here that I can review. So, you know, I don't have to buy it. I just watch it, review it, and uh, yeah. So let's see what we can review even more. Never wonder buying a real nice Mac. Well, here you have one, and uh, prices starting at uh, well for the Mac Mini, you get one for five ninety nine. 799 Apple display 27 inch so it's about this little device here so this is the computer here you can see it it's really small I think it's also in place I will not touch it but it has a real big amazing big screen and let's look at some specifications here 4 GB DDR3 memory Intel 80 graphics 4000 processor um, 2.5 GHz Mac Mini, dual core, Intel Core i5 processor, so that is really, really cool. And we also have the 2.3 GHz Mac Mini, with 2.3 GHz quad core Intel i7 processor, so, you know, I would go for the last one, this one here. Amazing machine, with also a strange, very strange mouse belt, but you will understand it the minute you touch it. I think to get the right mouse click, you just uh, put two fingers and, you know, two fingers and then you will get, oh, you just press it and then you have the right mouse click. See that? So let's look at some specifications here. Oh, wow. And this is, uh, I think this is uh, Maverick, but let's see, I think this is 10.9.4. 10.9.5 Amazing screen, looks really nice But of course, it is not much different than the Mac that you already have at home So this will be a great upgrade, especially for working in the studio Let's take a look at the 11 inch There it is, it's really small Looks a lot like the clothes, the clothes look a lot like this machine I'm Trying to open it, and you can see the a Mac you can always like, open without holding it. Oops, let me do it again. Open it. And you can see it got much lighter. So the top will come up if you want to open it with one hand. But uh, this is it. The specifications uh, are not bad. As you can see here. 1.4 GHz dual core Intel Core i5 processor turbo boost to 2.7 GHz. I don't really know what a turbo boost is. Uh, 4 GB DDR3 memory, Intel HD graphics 5000, graphic processor, of course, two USB 3 ports. Uh, it's 11 inch with uh, 250 GB flash memory and 120 gigabyte flash memory. So, there you go, this is it. Of course, also running 10.9.5. So let's look at it. I think this is a real small screen. I'm, I'm, I'm used building them old hacking push machines. Old uh, laptops, and then you get something like this. Prices start at 8.99. For the 13 inch you will have to pay 9.69 and here we also have another 13 inch. I think they look really nice and many other companies are also trying to be like Mac and 
you know, creating these aluminium uh, machines. So that's it for now. I'll get back to you if I see some more nice stuff. We all knew the Apple TV. It was a big device. I still love it. The big uh, Apple TV one. But this is the latest. As you can see, it became a real little small box. I have a box like that from Android. Also, just as small. Um, with the HDMI ports, of course. And, you know, the other ports. Has built-in Wi-Fi. And, uh, yeah, beside it, we're looking at... I think this is the iPad Mini. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, that's correct. This is, uh, yeah, I don't see so much information here. I don't know everything, trust me. I just love them devices and I love showing them to you. And if you want to see more of this, you should check out Saturn uh, somewhere in the Netherlands or in Rome. A very nice lap a very nice laptop that I see here. It really catches my eye. It's the Beat Studio. It's from HP. It's the SP 14 p 10 nd it's a 14 inch notebook for only $399, but it runs Android 4.3. So what's up with that? Can this thing also run Windows? What kind of processor is it having? And I'm really sure. Maybe we, we could ask this guy. But it's yellow. And it's really beautiful. I think every DJ would uh, love DJing with a thing like this also with the yellow sticker of HP and it feels really stable um, sir can I ask you something please this beat studio laptop can it what kind of processor is it having what for processor is it here is it an X X86 system can you here also Windows on this no that can't do it. Okay, you cannot install Windows uh, on this. And uh, we're trying to find uh, the name of the processor. Processor Tegra. Tegra 4. That is only for Android, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that is only for Android. Okay. I thought maybe uh, we could also install Windows on this, but that no. is not possible. Okay. Thank you very much. But the HP uh, SB14P110 or 010ND you can get for. 3.99 only at the Saturn. Okay, guys, we're looking at the Asus Memo Pad, the 10 inch, and this is you just at this moment by the Saturn to create in Groningen, but naturally ook elders in het land. And we kijken even waar we dan zeg maar aan moeten doen. Weet ik nooit zo goed bij die dingen. En dit is een 10 inch scherm, ziet er echt ontzettend goed uit met Android. En we gaan even kijken welke versie Android hierop draait. And ook het scherm, the touch is really nice. It feels like, yeah, it feels like a very sophisticated uh, device, and it's running Android 4.2.2. You know, um, yeah, 499. Great device, uh, great battery. I mean, like, you know, this battery will, you know, will last you like all day, and um, yeah, maybe a couple of days. So you should really check it out, the Asus, Asus Memo Pad 10 for 199 at Saturn Rome. Let's take a quick look at what we got. The Asus Memo Pad 8, 8 inch, you can also buy for 159 euros. And that is a geweldig mooi device. I don't want it to lose it, I'm going to leave it just like that, but it feels, it feels really solid, really nice. And it has a beautiful, beautiful touch screen. It's an amazing device. And that only for 159 euros. It has a quad core processor, 1.6 gigahertz quad core processor. This thing is faster than the laptop I'm using to produce my videos. You know, it's just uh, a matter of uh, doing video editing on a tablet. You know, that it's a little bit harder, but you know, the specifications of this device, you know, I think every computer user would just love it. And uh, the Memo Pad uh, 7 inch, you can already get for 129 euros. And this is also a beautiful device, has a great cam. I don't know the specifications of the cam, so I cannot tell you about that. 
but uh, we can always uh, find some information. I, I don't even know how to. I can't find no buttons. I think they should be here somewhere. Oh, there. Oh, there. Yeah. It's like kind of under, under the surface. You see that? So you can press it, and then here it's playing like, um, yeah, it's playing a demo. I'm not gonna touch it because the guy set it up to, you know, to show the people. Another device, much uh, expensive, is the 249 15 uh, euros Asus Nexus 7 2013. I don't know what that means, but I think it's been built in 2013 and also here we're trying to find the bottom it's also under the surface here you can see it you see the bottoms are like under the surface so they're not really at the side there you can really got to feel them I think that is really been thought of really good because most of the times these bottoms when you're doing something filming or whatsoever then you're touching them and then the program you know goes out of whatever you was doing and then you know that sucks so really nice founding to put the bottoms here at the side and that is of course the Asus the Asus TF701 is sold out so no more Asus and this is the Asus Transformer book um, by sliding this to the right side you can lift up the screen I cannot do it now because I have only one hand and I don't want to screw the device so I'm not gonna touch it you know I'm just gonna show you that well it's not on I think also looking for on off button here there it is okay this machine is not turned on because probably it has no power but this is the oh there it is it's starting up it has the Nvidia Tegra video card look at that startup man it's a real-time boot of the transformer book 1100 that you can get I don't even see the price and this was a real-time boot of the of the transformer book T100 and you can see it's of course touchscreen but you have uh, a fully working uh, yeah what do you call it a keyboard to work on the thing as if it was a notebook you can type your messages do your do your uh, work and your office business of course everything is in there and you can see it um, let's look at the specifications the settings go all the way down about and here you can see it's running 4.3 I don't see too much information about the processor but I think this thing is a quad core processor it's really fast really beautiful I had one yesterday in my hand I could train my MacBook against it but then the guy got a better bit and I told him well you don't have to keep to the deal you know because uh, of the lack of the hard drive you know it has only 16 gigabyte at least the one that I would get was only 16 gigabyte so you know I I, I decided not to do it and let the guy just sell it because he could get a much better price for it so you know the Asus Transformer book it's really beautiful I only don't see no price and uh, no this is another device and yeah what is this wow this is the Asus U500 VSET CM083H and this is uh, well I think the most expensive tablet that I saw until now it yeah what is it it's amazing here you have the the buttons here you can see the on off button and the volume buttons are here these are the only two buttons on the device it's really big I never saw a big tablet like this yet and uh, I think that many uh, users with a device like this would be really happy you know to also use it in in business uh, yeah it's amazing really beautiful really big think of it holding something like this in your hand putting it back 
Amazing, beautiful. Saturn, Groningen. Oké, okay, let's take a look at the cheaper tablets. Laten we kijken naar de goedkopere tablets. En hier zien we dat de point of view, de Pro Tab 25, al voor 100 euro verkrijgbaar is bij de Saturn. En we zoeken hier ook weer eventjes naar de aan uitknop. Die zit hier zo aan de zijkant. Je voelt wel dat dit ja, ook een heel mooi apparaat is. Ook heel mooi afgewerkt. Voelt lekker in de handen. Leuk, leuk apparaat. Voor weinig geld. De Acer. Dit is de Acer. De B1 730. Uh, ik kan je vertellen over Acer. Mijn eigen ervaring over Acer. Ik, ik persoonlijk, ik hou erg veel van Acer. Omdat, um, ja. Mijn liefde voor Acer is begonnen. Uh, my, my love for Acer started when I was building them Hackintosh uh, computers. Remember? You know, most of the time Acer's were out of the box Mac. MacBooks, so you know, I always have a kind of weakness for for Acer. Some people talk bad about Acer, but I love Acer. I think the Iconia 1.7 is a beautiful device. One can get for low as 99 euros. It has the same, it has better specifications than the Samsung uh, that I'm using right now, the Samsung Tab 3. So this is a better device, I think. Intel Anthem 1.6 gigahertz oh i was a little confused i thought it had a quad core processor so in fact yeah this is a light tablet that will let you do um, stuff like let's see if it has a gps i'm not sure um, location yeah gps satellites this thing has gps and it's filming in 1280p so that's not bad you know Many uh, devices of this price cannot do that, so you know, this is a real nice device. If we go for the 710, it's also um, from uh, Acer, the Iconia, uh, for 109. You will see that we will have a 1.2 GHz dual core processor, so this was a single core and this is a dual core processor. Hello my brother, how are you? <laughs> and um, yeah, this is... Uh, way faster this is a dual core so you know you all know uh, the difference between single and dual dual means it has two processors so it's way faster and we also look at the bottom and it looks really beautiful this is the a red Acer you know most of most of the tablets that I have red you know I made them myself red so <laughs> I painted them and this is like original from the store for 109 and it's the Iconia and I'm trying to put it on Let me see where the buttons are here also at the bottom you see that so you don't touch them and there it is and we go home there's a home button here and in fact both look really uh, kind of the same but this is a dual core and this is a single core and boats are really good for as low as 99 euros you can already have the Acer Iconia or the B1 710 or the 730 and you would say that the 710 would be a lower version you know you would think that this would be superior to this one but in fact this one has a dual core processor and this has a single core processor but it has an Intel Anthem processor so in fact you can install Windows on this thing only it has 8 gigabyte uh, of memory so in fact you could install uh, Mint Linux on this I only don't know if the touch screen would work I think you will need to well maybe the touch screen will work man now I really want to buy one just to see if it will, it will work, you know. Because I'm sure you can install uh, Mint Linux on this thing because it has an Anthem processor. This is a real powerful tablet, uh, yo peeps. This thing could even run Mac OS X. We could buy one just for testing, you know, and then bring it back with Windows. I mean like, you know, 
but just remember it. This one has the Anthem processor, so you can, in fact, technically, in, in theory, you could install Windows on this little tablet. Some version of Linux would also work just fine. One of the first tablets that I got myself way back was the Argos. And they are back. And this is uh, the Argos from now. It has uh, aluminium back. It looks really, really good. The price is not uh, really cheap. In fact, you know, um, I think it's not cheap at all. And it's not turning on. I think it has no power or whatsoever. And I would rather go for for this device just because of the processor. This thing has an Anthem processor. So Lenovo, let's see what they got. 172 euros. You have a little nice device. I think Lenovo always makes nice devices and you can see the cam here is at the back so I'm not really sure how you're gonna film with this but let's see how to turn it on oh here I think here I think this is uh, these tablets should all be connected it's not connected so we can't really take a look at it it's 8 inch 9.6 inch runs Android no it's 7.1 inch to 9.6 inch hmm. the tap 3.8 for 200 euros from Samsung it's a little bigger it's not 7 inch anymore what is the screen the screen looks like looks like an 8 inch screen huh? looks nice not bad we all know Samsung the company that hijacked the IDs of Apple Asus Windows 8 Asus tablet well you know you all know how I feel about Windows 8 so I think I would install Mint Linux on this thing giving me more freedom and more speed and wait hold on this thing is running I'm trying to find the desktop here there ain't, there ain't no desktop man so I think this is a <laughs> special version of wind oh there it is desktop I could not find it sure we all know this already and all prices starting at 300 euros for the Asus Vivo Tab um, with a dual core processor 1.8 gigahertz up to about 400 euros for the Samsung P8510 ATF Tab also with a Bluetooth keyboard looking really nice and Acer Aspire is also back with the Intel Anthem set 3 processor quad core so this thing could this thing could technically run Windows and it's it's running Windows these are very nice mint Linux books eh? so if you love running Linux you should get one of these and you can see the price is really low and the quality okay this is plastic this is a kind of plastic book but uh, yeah still very beautiful if we look for if we look at the Microsoft Surface book we see that it's costing 600 and something euros and here it is of course running Windows 8 in a very fancy color 4 gigabytes of memory uh, gen Intercore i5 processor so in fact these are nice machines you know if you could install Windows 7 on this thing this would be like well maybe you could also work on the Windows 8 with you know some changes I think this is a real nice video editing machine you could edit videos really nice on this thing because it has enough memory 
and it has an Intel Core i5 processor so that's not bad at all okay my battery is almost uh, empty so uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to you all uh, thank you for watching this review was made in the Saturn Groningen in my next video bye